up everyone welcome back to the revenue jeep channel so today we're driving down on the property we're gonna go down to the valley as you guys all know that's a nice spot where i like to show you guys the jeeps and just new products and all that so let's go back to the valley and as you guys been following and been watching on the videos we've been installing the wench on the jeep and so now let's go give it a quick test to see how it works of course it's not going to be your hardcore off-roading rock crawling um event or situation where my jeep is stuck i just want to test it out just to see what this wench battleland wench is about and see how it handles the weight of the jeep and it's not going to be like the most intense test but hey you know that's showing you guys what it's about some of you guys already commented on the previous videos that it's a good product so i want to test it out myself uh, i might end up getting the same one or something else for the JL, the diesels. So for right now, and the purposes of testing this wench out, we're gonna use this big old oak tree right here to strap um, the tree strap around the trunk of the tree, oak tree. And then we're gonna wench ourselves up towards that that tree. So obviously, like it looks pretty flat, kind of inclined on the side of there if you take a look. Not the biggest, uh, more, intense test but hey just a quick test and see what it's about so let's go strap it up Beautiful day out here in the valley. As you can see, it's just beautiful. Beautiful SoCal weather as well. Sorry about the wind, but we're gonna enjoy this day out here and enjoy this test. <laughs> I know you guys are probably experts. Some of you guys are experts at wenching. So, you know, comment down below. I mean, I'm not an expert. So, I mean, I like having conversation with you guys as you guys have already been commenting on my videos. I appreciate that each and every one of you guys. So if you see a mistake, that's fine. It's perfectly fine. Comment down below. Give me tips on how I can improve. I'm not here to say I'm an expert. I mean, that's what the Jeep community is about, to help each other out. If we can improve on it, why not, right? So let me show you guys real quick the terrain where I'm going to be pulling the, the Jeep. So it's not that bad. I mean, there's a little hill here that might have to, the wench got to pull the Jeep over. But hey, I mean, sorry about the weeds. You can't really tell, but it's not that flat. It's kind of inclined a little bit, so it's going to flex a little, the Jeep out a little bit. <sighs> Try to show you guys, the video's not doing justice, but hey, it's a little bit. And as you guys can see, beautiful oak tree where I have my picnics. So if you ever visit me, I might bring you down here for some lunch, a few drinks. You know what it is, so let's check it out, guys. As you guys can see, everything sponsored by Battleland Products. Yeah, right, I'm not even sponsored yet. As you guys can see, I have the Battleland. Sorry about that. I have the Battleland strapped around the tree and it's ready to go. We got the, we got it all set up right there. Let's unwind the Jeep and strap up the wench. Let's see how the YJ does with this Battleland 12,000 pound wench. I think it should be enough. A lot of you guys already commented that's a good product. You guys recommend it. I've seen a lot of installations of that this wench on YouTube. So you guys can do your research if you guys have a better preference for a smoothie build wench or even a of course Warren would have gone been the best route but hey some of us are on a budget and that's what my channel is about to show you guys there's an easier route to go about of course sometimes I'll install more high-end products but some of, some of the stuff you can order and save yourself a lot of bucks okay so let's take this cover off the wench I'm gonna promote my product as you guys can see the wench cover or protect weather protector you guys can see my name's on there El Jefe <laughs> just kidding I got this product on Amazon it's a El Jefe product I, I thought it was a coincidence but hey uh, it might fool some people you think that's my own product not yet though but um, you guys can get this product on Amazon I'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out it's fairly decent I believe it was $25 so fairly good good uh, leather cover on it so it fits nice and tight around the wench and before we get started, of course, be safe. Uh, make sure you do this correctly or as safe as you can. Don't get in front of the wench. None of that. Be as careful as you can. Stay away in case anything snaps. I want to make sure you guys are safe out there. So 
uh, make sure you do this correctly or watch as many videos and just make sure you do it properly all right just so nothing occurs all right so, all right, so never get the the wench line the synthetic rope you always grab it by this strap that battleland provides and that's the way you that the instructions say and i've seen a lot of youtubers do this as well just to be safe nothing gets caught up or you get cut either way so let's pull it out now all right y'all so we have it set up here as you guys can see took out the line out strapped it around the tree strap and comment down below guys if you guys see any mistakes that i'm making or corrections that i should have done let me know down below that's what the jeep community is about to help each other out and at the same time being safe so you guys can see there the jeep's ready to go we turned on the wireless remote as you guys can see right here i'm safe so all we're gonna do right now is just winch it in a little bit just so it can be uh, nice and tight and then we'll start reeling it in so let's do that now all right so there we have it as you guys can see i'm at the end as you guys can see it's pretty tight i think we're good there and everything's good around the tree the strap's good all right so let's walk back to the jeep hop on in and then winch the jeep There we go guys, we did a quick test on the Badland Apex 12,000 pound wench and it performed decently, you know, it wasn't the hardest test you guys can see. It did a little bit of flex in here and there, it handled the weight well when I let go of the brake and it just pulled the Jeep on over the, hopefully I didn't damage the tree here, I love this tree so nah, I'm pretty sure this oak tree is very secure down to the ground. But other than that, you guys can see there, comment down below what you guys think about this wench your experience with the, if, if you have this wench if you have a worn smitty belt comment down below i like having conversations with you guys and you know just give me ideas or tips on what i should have done how i should uh get my setup ready to wench my jeep comment down below guys i appreciate that and once again i want to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel thank you to all the ladies that have subscribed recently to my channel i appreciate you uh joining and watching my videos and uh, of course the fellas of course can't leave my fellas out Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I appreciate you guys. All I ask is you guys get this video a thumbs up and all the future videos as well. I've been having a lot of requests on my comments for um, on installations that I've done on this Jeep. And trust me, guys, I have so many videos backed up. And some of them are outdated, but hey, you know, like you guys know I'm working on both J the JL 
Monstar, the Eco Diesel, and El Jefe. So, you know, I gotta see which video uh, feels right to drop, and you know, that's what I'm doing. But don't worry, guys, the, the, the questions that you guys have been asking me about the videos, I'm gonna drop those videos. Some of you guys have been asking for the radio installation, that one's coming. Um, how I do my wiring, that one's coming. So, guys, just be patient with me. I just wanna make sure I get enough views before I drop another video. So, do me a favor, check out the videos. Hit the thumbs up or comment down below and we're going to be dropping those videos. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate each and every one of you subscribers and whoever watches my videos. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys learned a thing or two from my mistakes or my installations. Whatever it is, I hope you guys learned something. We'll see you on the next video, guys. Later, guys.